Hello kittens! Welcome in to day two, stream two of Wild Hearts. Um, we're continuing on with the story and uh, I'd like to try and do some multiplayer today if I can as well. Um, which I did actually do some tests last night. Sorry, I'm just telling Nightbot to join the chat. I did do some tests last night, but I tested it um, joining... Oh shit, sorry, I fired, fired my bow there. <laughs> Preemptive fire, we've all been there. Um, I tested it in other people's games, so I've not hosted yet, so I don't know how stable that's going to be, but um, I did like, I think, three or four points, and it was stable in other people's games, so fingers crossed, fingers crossed, I'd like to play with VIPs today, and um, the password is already in the VIP lounge. Um, but uh, we need to head to the first major town, so there's probably going to be some reading, some talking, some story progress before I jump into the hunt. So that's a little little bit of information on what's going on today. Hello, Broman, Yuji, Yukia, hello, hello, Cobra. Who else is here? I think that's everybody. Welcome to all the early birds. Love, love, love. I hope you're all enjoying this game so far. I'm liking it a lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I am uh, definitely looking forward to doing some more progress today and slaying and having a good time with everybody. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so with that said, as always everyone, the usual ways to support the channel. We've got goals, we've got fun rewards on Patreon multiplayer access on the vip tiers like today on regular streams we've got open lobby unlocked if we hit the first goal on tips information on the twitch panels in the stream description and uh yeah i also have fan house as well for daily life and spice etc etc you know what the score is thank you all for the love and support and for uh spending time with me hanging out but uh yeah let's jump into the game Rodrigo, hello, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Welcome in. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. So, I have upgraded my armour. I got some pieces of King Tusk. I don't want to travel back to the camp because I would have to trek all the way back here and it's a whole thing. So, I will probably show you more information on that once we head into this first major town. I can't get a new PS5 until June-ish. No, Yuji! No, no, no. I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, I know there are some issues with this game, so maybe by then it might be a bit more smooth. I haven't run into anything major so far, but I know other people have, so... We can get back to Minado at last. Let's go before anything comes along to stop us. Well, that just makes me think something's going to happen when I uh, try and set up this zip line on this bridge, to be honest. With hunting skills like that, what makes you trouble? You could... Ah, sorry. I'm sure you have your reasons. I do. To slay, to get stronger, get better armor, etc, etc. Fine. It's not flying fine. Is it? Hang on. Is this right? Conjure Dragon Karakuri. Hang on a second. Dragon Karakuri. Ah. Okay, so we've unlocked it now. Aren't they all that? Right, I'm tired. Sorry. I need to like work this out a second. I'm still getting used to how this game works though. Dragon Karakuri. Basic Karakuri. Oh, it's just, uh, um, it'll be the zip line, isn't it? That's what it is. Right, okay. We're doing it. We're doing it. I want it to be opposite. There we go. It's, um, Odd-looking contraption. Is it really going to get us across? Yes, it is. Fine, fine. In the flash. Boy, what a fantastic 
Right, okay, so L2 activate. Is it not work? Have I done the wrong thing? Is this... How do I use it again? R1 and X. There we go, okay. <laughs> enjoying your playthrough so far? Thank you! I'm enjoying it a lot. Minato. Welcome to Minato. Hello, Yuki. Yuki Zuki, hello. How are you doing? Right, I'm going to put both of your buds in now. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't yelling, but I'd like to hear the sound properly. Well, we made it in the end. I was starting to think we'd never see it again. But here we are. This is Minato. Minato. Ooh, pretty. And the music coming in is amazing. It's probably going to be it's so much to unlock here now. <laughs> Our controllers vibrate into this music. I missed. What is that? <laughs> I've got my big ball. Everyone stare at it. Everyone look at it, how fabulous it is. Check out these nuts. <laughs> That's the ball from uh, the rat creature's tail, isn't it? I think, I believe. Ooh, you're pretty. It almost feels like a montage of uh, joining this village and getting to know the people in the village. Oh. <laughs> it's dinner. I, what would it even taste like? I don't. <laughs> so. I don't want to know. Feel at home yet? <laughs> really. Well, good for you then. We've just been welcomed in with open arms. New home, new friends, new family. It tastes like chicken? You think it tastes like chicken? Has anyone actually eaten rat to know what rat tastes like? I don't think anyone would own up to it in the chat. <laughs> Let's have a little look around, shall we? That's quite homely. There's a big ass tree growing in the center of the house with a lovely fireplace and some cooking meat. <laughs> I don't know. I'd like to think there's meat in my part, you know what I'm saying, chat? <laughs> Steamy meat. Oh, okay. We can go up here. We've got the... Oh, can't interact with this. I, was... I thought this would be an equipment box, but no. Apparently not. So there's going to be quite a few people to talk to around this Minato town. So let's have a look. Oh, we've got a view. A room with a view out onto the beautiful blue. Can I jump down there? I almost just went straight over the edge. A room with a view and then I just fall to my death and die. Oops. <laughs> and thus the adventurer came to their end by 
running toward the horizon and falling off their very own balcony. <laughs> I see Kylie went with the bow for now, Are yes. Tarting for business again today? Looks like you're settling in nicely, Tucker. With you doing the work of two or three men, the only job left for me is keeping my socket cup filled. Oh. Quick! Quick! <sighs> Looks like it's over. That was another big one. That's what he said. Feels like they're getting stronger every day. <laughs> it's making the bridge repairs on the old Blossom Trail impossible, apparently. Not that it matters to you with all your Karakuri trickery. Ah, I nearly forgot. You should drop in on the Himesama later. Our steward was asking for you before. Something big causing that tremor chat. Something large. You've got some excellent carrots, sir. Oh, and also... Is that an aubergine? <laughs> You've got a big bowl of aubergines. Uh, a fish stall here, fish and meats by the looks of it. Oh, there's some live ones down there. <laughs> I'll have that one later. Oh shit, sorry. I just kind of jumped in it. <laughs> I'll have that one, stamp. <laughs> I'll have it now, I guess. It's dead. Okay, right, let's go over here. What's this? Can I interact with you? By studying your equipment, yes. I've managed to develop some new weapons. I'm quite proud of them, actually. Give them a try. I actually didn't see who it was at first. I was too busy looking at the icon, and I was like, right, I can interact here. Listen to requests, let's see. Ah, sumimasen. Could I ask you to do a job for me? I've been getting so much work recently, and my stock of materials is starting to run low. It's good for business, but I can't possibly fulfill all these orders with what I have left. So I was hoping you could gather some more materials for me. Not as a favor, as a job, of course. With pay? <sighs> I don't suppose this was a problem back when all the karakuri were working. If you could bring me what I need as soon as you have it, I'd be ever so grateful. I do... hope it goes well. Oh, I actually already have it. I was about to say, do I have it? And I do. Feel free to look in as often as you like. <sighs> Trippy! Look at all these materials you've gathered for me. That's perfect. I'll be able to finish all my outstanding jobs now and nobody will be disappointed. There are fewer and fewer members of the Guild of Artisans now. It's a headache for the whole town. But it means the rest of us just have to work harder to pick up the slack. Minato's future depends on it. Anyway... You've been a big help. Arigatou gozaimashita. I'm sure I'll have another job for you soon enough, if you don't mind. I don't mind. You can take on requests from the townsfolk of Minato, as with quests you proceed with accepted requests from the map. Sweet. Well, see, gathering paid off, chat. You can count on me to keep your weapons and armor in good shape. I earned uh, Azuma gemstone times five for that. Does she have anything if it's else? If weapon care no. you're looking for, then look no further. Okay, so now I can show you what I've done. Um, hold on. Can I be of service in any other? Have a think about which of my little oh. ones I'm most interested in. Armor modification. Modifications can draw out hidden powers in armor. Those who follow the human path. Believe in utis utilizing human technology to the full to give them the edge on the hunt, whilst those who follow the kimono path have a deep understanding of kimono and strive to be at one with nature. What are the differences, really? So, as you can see, um, I've gone for the uh, samurai set mainly. I still have their helmet from the fresh fern set. 
Uh, I don't know if I'm going to go for this one. I do like this helmet, though. I could actually make this now, which gives me the Nostrum Water. Enables healing water to additionally cure ailments. I do really like that, actually. It's cool. <laughs> I said I went for King Tusk Armor. It's not King Tusk Armor, is it? It's the uh, other two monsters. That's what I've mostly got. <laughs> I got confused between what I'd actually forged. <laughs> I have yet to try. I've only used the longsword weapon phoenix and obviously I switched to the bow as soon as I could but I haven't tried the umbrella weapon yet. I might give that a go today if we go against something that I've already fought before on multiplayer um, for materials or something just so I can play around with the weapon. So... Can I be of service in any other way at all? I have a weapon forged, I have an armor forged. Do you have something particular in mind? Oh, right, okay. So it says at the bottom, there's a little... You can just see it above my information. That's that's what it, it tells you which way it veers to, basically, human or uh, kimono. Right, okay. I thought she meant like it was an actual... Uh, Ah, right, okay, I see, I see. Which I don't have the materials for at all at the moment. Okay. I think I'm fine at the minute anyway. Oh, I did actually make a spare bow. Because I'm going to start taking the bows down the different elemental paths actually so I'm probably gonna go to the left with the second bow and go down here uh, into that element but not yet I'm fine with the one I've got for now okie dokie let's have a look around a bit more there's someone in here to talk to this place is huge <laughs> can you oh you can you can i think you can set up the fast travel uh builds within the town that'll be quite handy oh yeah you that's shy do come in Look at you. Waifu. A picture of health as always. Waifu. I never felt or looked better. That's a brag. Right. Please spend as much as you like. <laughs> Whatever your heart desires, you will find in the Crimson Treasury. Just please spend as much as you like. Of course you're going to say that. You're a shop owner. <laughs> you spoil me with these fine kimono materials you sell. Could I perhaps spoil you in return with some wares at a fine price? Is that the only choice I have of you spoiling me? <laughs> you may examine anything in as much detail as you please before you decide. She's she's been like <laughs> the most seductive shop owner ever. You can purchase food and materials at the store. The goods on offer change after every kimono hunt and the range of items increases as the story progresses. Wow, she's got an impressive bit of meat in here. I can see that already. <laughs> A cloth to wipe your brow on the sweat. Western metal fitting, what's that? Uh, rare material used in accessories made by members of the Guild of Artisans and obtained by the Crimson Treasury from the Westlands via one of the capital's larger uh, concerns. Right, okay. I'm not going to bother with any of this for now. Now, a little small talk, perhaps. <laughs> you do make me sad sometimes. God damn it. I feel like I should have just bought something now. <laughs> it's working! The tactics are working on me, damn it. Ah, good. You are here. 
Your daily labors have not escaped my attention. You are a great asset to Minato. Ours is the only remaining settlement here in Azuma, once known for its fierce bando warriors, who prevailed during the rule of the Ishido clan. With the demise of the Ishido governors, the region fell under the control of the Ago clan, but they see it as a worthless backwater. By appointing me as its steward, they neatly rid themselves of a great embarrassment for the clan. Their hope is that Minato and I both will simply vanish into obscurity. But arts and crafts made from kimono materials are still highly prized in the capital. The few are being made these days. Until your arrival, we had no hunters left capable of dealing with kimono as fearsome as the King Tusk. You're welcome. Thanks to you, I sense the spirit of the town starting to revive. I am extremely grateful. Arigato. I just hunt what I hunt. <laughs> I'll say glad Speaking to be of service. Of the of the town, you will have seen the windmill-like structure at the heart of Minato. The citizens call it the spirit wheel. I know nothing of the workings of Karakuri. So I have no idea how it could be made to turn again as I believe it once did. But it is my honest wish to see it too. One day revived, turning proudly and purposefully above the town. As people prosper in the streets below. We'll get it working. Don't you worry. Allow me some small degree of influence. Forgive me. I digress. I summoned you to ask for your help. The capital is crying out for new handicraft. With your skills at our disposal, I believe we may be able to oblige. They will require materials that can only be obtained from the Tsunobashiri. A glider kimono found on Natsugodachi Isle. I request that you hunt one. For some time, the hunters here have taken no prey beyond the Harigasumi way, and the materials are all delivered to Suzuran Sensei for her studies. Hello, Cobra. You may reach the Isle by boat. Speak with the head of the Guild of Fishermen, Sumori Nobumitsu. I do apologize for asking so much of you. But this hunt would prove most valuable to the town. There is no great urgency, however. I understand you have many demands in your time. So many citizens are coming for your skills. It is my earnest wish that you oblige them also. In doing so, you afford Minato great strength. This is my town too now, so I'm willing to help. Let's see what else she says. You. Your feathers are so rarely ruffled. I wonder if she's meant to be quite young, because she's quite uh, small in size. I, I don't know though. I can't. It was hard to tell because we can't can't really see her face because of the really uh, extravagant headpiece she had on. Is there a map that I can look at? Ah, oh, right. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna go over here. Over here. Over oh here. man. That's right, you flex. <laughs> oh, come on. That was not just a stretch. That was like, look at my pectorals, baby. <laughs> that was well on purpose, right, chat? He's giving me uh, Waka vibes from Final Fantasy. <laughs> Unofficial gamer, Tukudin 3 here. looks so good. <laughs> Over here. I can actually see the two could influence though. Alright. Looks like it's time to ship out at last. You took your time. I nearly nodded off. Especially with this beautiful weather we're having. So how are things? I'm no hunter. But I bet it gives you a real sense of purpose, doesn't it? It does. Really? That's great. So, you need passage to the spirit isle, do you? Believe me, you don't want to go there unprepared. That's where the big fish are, if you know what I mean. The kimono on the isle are a lot tougher than the ones you've been hunting along the old blossom trail. I think the spine glider inhabits the south side of the island, but I don't know exactly where you find it. In days gone by, hunters had karakuri that helped them find their prey. Without something like that, 
you'll just have to trawl around for it the old-fashioned way. And hope you don't net something you can't handle. I don't know. Maybe you're ready for anything. But it wouldn't hurt to check over your weapons and armor before we leave. If you're worried, pay Natsume a visit. She'll sort you out with some great equipment, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, one other thing. You know the Guild of Fishermen handles everything to do with shipping? Trade as well as fishing. Well, we quite often run into trouble that could use a good hunter like yourself. So if you're ever short of work, just give me a shout. Of course we would reward you for your efforts. Money. Give me the money. I don't think I want to travel to this new area yet, because we want to do some multiplayer first. And plus there's going to be loads of talking when I get there as well, I think, so... You said you were giving those spine glider materials to Suzuran sensei, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, she knows her stuff when it comes to kimono. You want to know what's still to do? Here's the list. Oh. Hunt for kimono. Hunt the kimono without perishing, that's easy. Destroy any part of a kimono two times. How many can I accept? Oh, five. Okay, it's in the top left. So these are like the uh, the extra quests in Monster Hunter, basically, that give you extra materials and money. So definitely worth coming here and picking this stuff up. Uh, obtain 15 small kimono materials. Obtain 10 small kimono materials. Obtain 20 creatures. Um, I'll just select that one for now, I think. And that one. I'll do. Great. We both better get back to work. Let's catch up again soon. I think I've spoken to everyone. There's a training area here. Let's just have a look around this map. Great gate. Treasure way. Suzerain's retreat. Uh, Steward's residence. Right, okay. Am I... Do you, can you set up a uh, multiplayer in here? If you can, I'm not sure where you would do it. <laughs> Let's just zoom in. Uh, I don't see... It might be that I have to leave the area and go back out into... Over here, maybe. Free haunts. Okay. Giant tree trunk camp depart immediately. Uh, I'll just go there for now. <laughs> Official gamer, can't wait for Capcom to borrow idea from Keru like uh, Missouri to Pissara and then Tinker Jinju, Grappling Claw, 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 and Semi Open World to Monster Hunter World. <laughs> This is not the camp I wanted. Uh, can I build a... No, I can't. Okay, so I'm better off traveling. Better off traveling back here because there's a camp and then I can open up multiplayer. That's the plan. <laughs> Play online. Here we go. You access online play from campfires of dragon Karakuri. You can create a new room of your own, search available rooms, change session, etc. When collaborating with others in online play, the story progresses in accordance with the host game. 
Your save will only include story progress if you're at the same point story-wise as the host. That makes sense. Create session. Party tag. Uh, uh, what do I want? Playing the story, collecting equipment and materials, I guess. Or, or maybe custom, actually. Hang on. Free input. I'll just do GGK. <laughs> and then you know it's my room. It's probably the way to do it. Okay, GGK. Same language. Search target. No preference. Password. Yes. So, BRB screen going on. Password is already in the VIP lounge. I don't know if there's going to be a code for the room. If there is, obviously I'll post it in the VIP lounge. I have no idea how this works. This is the first time doing it on this stream. So let's see. <laughs> Decide what to hunt next. Let's do... Uh, let's do this. Hang on. Can I... How do I set it as a quest then? Because like it was like... Depart. Should I just wait? I don't know how. I don't know how the fuck this works. <laughs> I don't see room information. Uh, no, no code on the screen anywhere. If anyone knows if there is one, let me know where it is because I have no fucking clue. <laughs> I'm guessing you just need to search for GGK and then put the password in. So I'll just type in Discord. I think you can just wait for people to join. Right, okay. That's probably the best way to do it, isn't it? I reckon. Okay, Ream, GGK. That's it. Very different to Monster Hunter. <laughs> I probably should have went on search first to see actually how it works, you know? Because the only way I've joined people's games so far is there are these, like, blue little gates. I don't think there's one here. In fact, I think I can travel to one, thinking about it. Uh, here. If I travel here, I should be able to show you what I mean. This Hunter's Gate. Assistance list. But this is helping other people though. So. That's how I've done multiplayer. As I've never hosted. I've only joined other people's games. By using this gate. And selecting the target. And going out and helping them hunt it. And that's it. <laughs> so it's all new to me. suppose it's a way to keep momentum flowing. Yeah, I reckon so. I'm not sure if anyone's around to play with me as of yet anyway, so I might just honestly um, select a target for now, but I can't, can't make a fire as of right now, can I? The dragon pit isn't powerful enough. So can I make a fire now, I think? No. Not powerful enough. I made that fire on level 2 on the last one. I don't understand. I still don't 
don't understand how some things work on this game because we've got a fire in the other one and that's level two so why can't i build a fire here when this is level two the different ones need to be different levels to make different things because that makes no sense to me that's not i'm gonna give it one more try okay cobra fingers crossed right tell you what i will make though i don't have this so i think i should probably make this so i can search for monsters How about this? rage tail sap scourge i'll do a sap scourge Hold it down to seek assistance with this hunt. If I did that, it would remove the password, am I right? I'm not sure how it works. I'm going to assume that it would. can't fast travel to it because I don't have uh, the ability to do that, but that's fine. I need to remove them and replace them with the springboard at some point. I would say it's like the SOS system in World, yeah. I just want this to be VIPs today, so I don't want to do that way. I mean, I suppose I could if I wanted to play with randoms. I haven't had any issues playing with randoms so far. Okay. Probably like forgotten how to ah shit <laughs> how to maneuver in this game now. Got ya. I have been hit actually, briefly. Got ya. Nice. 
Maybe I should put one of those uh, zip line things over here. Right, I might set one up, like, here. One and X, isn't it? Let's move. Oh, hang on. There we go. This will help. Here we go. No! Oh shit. <laughs> he stunned me. said there's a way to do a really long dodge with the bow with it out but I still don't know how to do that. Get me though. <laughs> I'd need to practice with that one. I'm not used to it that much. I only just figured that might move out last night, actually, that one. But it's kind of like the arc shot in Monster on a World. It's one that I don't reckon I'll be using all that much. Mm. 
Okay. I haven't showed you the mega charged up bow move yet, have I? He's trapped me behind this tree. Oh no, he's grabbed me! I thought he trapped me at first. He's grabbed me. And there I thought I was being sneaky going behind, but no. What I need to get used to doing is building this instead of uh, trying to dodge normally. Me. Oh, he stopped me doing the mega move as well. That's annoying as all fuck. Got ya. Luckily I'm tanking most of his moves though with this armor. I did one of those side missions. Request assistance. What's that mean? Seek assistance on the mystery hunt. I'm confused about what that is. Are these random? Like randomly it matchmakes with people? Does anyone know? Maybe it's someone on my PSN list. I don't know. <laughs> I could go investigate chat. What do we think? I'm not sure. I wish it told me who it was. I kind of want to switch weapon. Um, and try out the umbrella because I've not tested it yet. I said I would on this episode, so that's the plan. Change equipment. Right, 
right, let's go to the uh, training domain a second. Okay. Plunging Comet from Reverse Lunge, Triangle followed by Triangle. Triangle. Alright, oh, okay. That's cool. R2 is parry. That's quite quick. Nifty, that. I've always sucked at parrying, though. This is what puts me off this weapon the most, is parrying. <laughs> I could never parry... Like, if ever I parried on Dark Souls, it was always accidental. So that's my concern with this weapon, but I have heard that the window is uh, is uh, quite forgiving for it. Attack in parry stance, square or triangle. All right, the triangle is like more of a a lunge type attack after the parry stance. Oh shit! Oh. I think that was a parry come under attack while in parry stance. I'm doing it wrong, chat. I told you! I'm doing something wrong with this. <laughs> that is parry stance. Hang on. I think the timing is off. successfully for a big uh, spendence gauge increases the higher the gauge the more hits each attack makes what am I doing wrong with this I'm too used to the bow <laughs> I don't think so I don't think he is getting in the way I don't know if they can even be hit actually Little. I'm doing it wrong, whatever it is. Maybe the best way to learn this weapon is not with this training dummy and actually go out and fight something. I'm thinking. Rather than uh, deal with this, decide what to hunt next. Let's have a look. Rage Tail. So Cobra says the question mark means Kimono that you've not discovered yet. Ah, okay. Maybe we can have a look at that in a bit then. Let's use this. How about this? That looks like a bird. Over there. A bird kimono. Is it that cool phoenix looking bird? I don't think so. Maybe it is. Alright, here we go.
I'm up to the, the second bar. You can't see it because of the uh, face cam, but... Shit. I don't think this weapon is going to suit my playstyle, to be honest with you. Out somehow. So you used to range weapons now. I might die. I might actually die on this thing. <laughs> That would be a shameful performance. I'm gonna try and parry practice. right at all of this weapon not for me chat not for me confirmation cute mouse cute mouse that is wrecking me Because the bar isn't even... Oh, look at that dodge. Look at <laughs> look how fancy that dodge is. Like, a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. <laughs> I've never seen a dodge so elegant before. I'm trying to do the parry, but I'm fucking sucking so badly with this weapon. Alright, I'm done. I am done with this weapon. I don't like it. I've decided. I don't think he's gonna let me leave though. Somehow. Well, that didn't go according to plan, did it? <laughs> Uh, it's just super hard. See, the thing is, right, is that I saw people saying the parry is really forgiving, the window is large, it's dead easy. No, it's not. I don't think it is. But this is coming from a bow distance player, so that's probably why. And I suck at parries in every single game I play. So <laughs> I don't know why I thought I would test this weapon out. At least I know now. <laughs> Lesson learned. <laughs> Let's go and put my bow back on. The best weapon of all time. Okay, I'm not going to finish that hunt because I didn't need to fight that monster. I was only doing it to practice with that weapon. So what we're going to do now... Is 
is. Let me just look at my armor a second and work out if I want to grind anything. Okay. Rage child plum. I need rage child materials. God, look at the boost on that. Like, if you start going down the human or the Komodo path, like, it jumps up from a base defense of 8 to 20 per per piece. Well, not per piece, but some pieces. The chest piece goes from 8 to 20. And then the helmet goes from 7 to 17. Rather than just, like, bog standard forging. So, like, if I was to upgrade from this chest piece to that one, it's only a jump from 8 to 13. So I suppose it depends on what skills you like the most. I don't quite fancy um, this helmet skill. Enables healing water to additionally cure ailments. Hang on, out of curiosity, is when you're coated in like the honey, ambery stuff that the, one of the monsters does, I can't remember its name now, you know, um, oh, what's it called? The one that I fought before King Tusk, I can't remember its name. But you know what I mean, does it clear that as well? Because if it does, that would be handy, not having to like put down the spring pad just to get rid of that ailment. Strong arm thread increases the amount of Karakuri thread obtainable while your hunter's arm is active. Savage increases attack. Extends the distance by which attacks are dodged. I quite like the sidestep ability, not gonna lie. Okay. I could go for the hat, just for the... Yeah, just for the bonus to defense. So I need Sap Scourge Tail for this. I think maybe the fact that it told us about this that you can do now makes me think that you should have one armor that's upgraded before going to the next area. Not too sure, says Cobra. Ah, right, okay. I am curious about that, because that would be handy. Because healing is so in abundance out in the field, you can just snag it as you go along. But I don't, you know, that, that would be great if you had access to that so easily. So Sap Scourge and Rage Tail, basically. I might actually just go chase it down and finish it off because it's not going to be... difficult. I've not severed. Uh, does the tail actually come off, by the way? Because I've never severed a tail with bow on this game. I could request assistance since there's no VIPs around. Or just, like, jump into someone else's hunt. <laughs> Should have kept the Japanese names for the monsters. I don't know what the Japanese names are for them. I never looked at that.
Oh, yay, Yuki is going to join shortly. Okay, cool. Just join whenever you're ready. I'm, uh, I'm just doing a bit of grinding. The materials. I don't think I've been through here before, you know. Am I going the wrong way? No. You are adorable! Can I kill you? Oh, there's a snake there too! said nest This will help Yeah, they do have pages actually. Um, where is it again? It's small kimono. I needed a um. Scale, it said, or something. Okay, I need these lizards for the, the scale. So I need some small scales as well. Okay. Quality of life. Back in my day, a monster hunter. You have to go on Google. Oh, it got me. It got me. Take the potion!
let's get up there. Missed. Got ya. Nice. We both bow. Oh, yes. Beautiful. You know, I'd like us to try and uh, smash that tail if we can. Because I do need it. So much more builds to unlock. Oh yeah, well I barely scratched the surface. Not even gone to the second area yet. <laughs> I feel like I barely explored this first area. I could do with running around a bit more and having a look. that a bit too much. <laughs> well, I just fell down the fucking cliff there. <laughs> I could probably get back up actually. Uh, by building, but I'm not going to waste my mats. There we go. We did it. We did. Collateral damage. Change uh, destination. Leaving in 10 seconds. Hopefully this doesn't kick you out. I don't think it will because it's an actual room cell. Oi! Nicely done. It's asleep. Forever it's asleep. Oh, is this the... Oh, it's my camp. I got confused for a second. I thought this was like your camp or something. Okay, let's have a look what I need still. How about this? Mage tail plum still. Uh, 
that sap scourge tail. Have you managed to get a tail off with the bow, Yukia? Or not? I'm not sure, like, if you can sever with a bow in this or not. Mind you, that gives me a health boost. Hang on a second. Yeah, but I have to focus damage when it's in rage. Ah, okay. You have to hit it hard with snipe. This came on. All right, I'm gonna let's go for sap scourge then. now. She's right by uh, another camp that I've got if you open the map. It's literally right there. Oh my god. <laughs> Came out of the tent and it was right there. for days. I misjudged that completely. You're leaving? Of course it is, we're wrecking it already.
I saw him. Oh, got some of them. Got some of them. You're cute! Alright, I might be able to revive you. This might be a bit risky. Yeah, it's a bit risky. <laughs> I need him away from you. Before I can try it. Go, 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 go! Oh, shit! I did it! Oh, God! <laughs> wow, that was clutch. Well, you're leaving. My survival. I was. I felt too intense that revival. Not gonna lie. I thought I wasn't going to make it. You like Bo? I do like Bo. I don't, uh, I don't actually like the umbrella. I just tested it. But I have yet to test any other weapons, so. There's still time.
I got me. Damn. I did press uh, dodge, but I wasn't quick enough then. I thought about going bow, but it seems slow, but watching you, it doesn't seem that slow. Once you get used to the dodges and everything, it's it's quite a cool weapon. I mean, you can turn and aim and stuff, so it's just getting used to it. It's not, I'd definitely say it's not as free-flowing as Rise. Like, Rise, the way I play in Rise, I'm whipping around everywhere like a freaking dragonfly basically um it's different but i think if you play with dodging a lot and utilizing the you know the structures and stuff um it's a lot better i'm still getting used to things i feel like i'm playing awful today <laughs> i don't know if jack just agrees but i think i'm playing bad today should we do king tusk as well this came on and just do all of them Although, maybe we should do this new one. I've not hunted it yet, and I want to see what it's like. Are you down for this question mark, Yukia? Let me know. I'm trying to think where would be easiest. We're all the way over here, so probably from there, actually. Oh, shit. God, the controls. I keep forgetting that it's zooming with the stick rather than a shoulder button. Have fun with that. It decimated me. Oh, shit, really? <laughs> Should I be concerned? <laughs> I feel like I've placed this tent in a really awful position, by the way. Oh, it's poisonous. Oh, shit. Mm. Ah, shit. one before. It's the bird, isn't it? Which I've not seen yet. I've only seen its silhouette in the distance, mocking me. hear it. We need to tread cautiously. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I need some of you. Ah, 
actually don't. It's the lizard, isn't it? That's the one. Are you serious? <laughs> it's gone all the way back the way we were before, chat. Take that crystal though, thank you. Oh shit! <laughs> it's gorgeous though. Can I just take a moment to appreciate it? Oh my bird! It is beautiful. It is just a mangy crow though. Can I never escape crows? The fact that there are crows surrounding my house in real life that have took up residency in the massive tree at the back behind my house. There's like a whole ass murder of crows. There's like 50 of them that roost in that tree and it's just really unnerving. And now I've got to face this in the game and maybe this is the revenge that I've been waiting for all this time. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't like it. Whoa! Shit! <laughs> oh no, it's pecking me! <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh my god. Wow. Got ya. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Always underestimate the, the amount of ground these monsters cover. aren't that hard.
misjudged the dodge. I, I thought I might have been able to get uh, past it. Yeah. And it's flying away. Okay, it's interesting. It's not too bad. Once you get used to its patterns. Such a cool fight. Ka! Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I had to. <laughs> had to do that. Uh, Keeper, I've not fought this one yet. Saw my friend go and poke it, but not fight it. He ran off as soon as it did the poison. Yeah. The uh, One of the early armors actually gives you immunity, I think, or, or resistance to poison. So it could be worth actually upgrading that. How do we think I'm doing against it? First time fighting it, chat. Be curious to see what its armor uh, looks like. Shit, it's pissed. It's pissed. Give me that crystal. Thank you. I got the chance, like, if it rams into this wall. Oh, fuck. Oh, I was coming over to you, Yukia, then. This is where things are going to get hairy now. Now, Jesus Christ, it's fast. If you've not got those barriers up, that's why he's gonna fuck you up. Big time. I've not got enough though. What's he doing? He's gonna do his big move. Oh. I still don't know how to do the grab on thing. I've not done it yet. Nice. 
Oh, sweet. Backing off, because he's doing a big move. Oh, he got me. Heck, should have done the barrier. I knew I should have done the barrier. I healed. That would have been a knockout. I think he's limping. Yes. He is. Press X or whatever your jump button is, then use R1 to actually grip the monster. Once uh, on your stamina, slowly depletes. Ink Shadow the Colossus. Once you get to the glowy weak spots, you can use L2 to extract bonus territory thread from the spot, which actually gives you a lot well over the natural cap. Right, okay. I need to actually do that then, because I've not done that once. This is not the monster to try that on, though. <laughs> We fucking destroyed it straight away. That was a misjudgment. Major misjudgment. gonna get me chat that was a clutch dodge right there
got me. Who got me with a spin? Do not dare. Just in time. Just in time, though. My headphones falling out of me here. <laughs> We did it! We did it! I want to look at this armor so bad. Oof. I missed the beginning of the stream, I don't want to spoil anything, but is this the first monster you fought in the second area? This is still in the first area. I've not gone to the second area yet. It just kind of appeared with a question mark. So we went to investigate. Right, I should probably um, return back here. Hang on. I'm going back to Minato. I don't think this disconnects the room, does it? Hopefully it doesn't. Well done, I think that went well. <laughs> yeah, but I do hope that we eventually have a way to increase the stamina cap though, because good god it depletes too quickly. I haven't noticed a major issue with stamina myself. Maybe it's because I'm using bow. Just a merchant. I had some business ranged here in Minato. But my man hasn't shown up. He's a hunter too, you know? A good one. I've bought things from him before, and he's always been very reliable. He promised me some deer antler this time. <sighs> I hope nothing's happened to him. It's a worry. For his safety. And my business. You couldn't go and look for him. Could you? And maybe hunt a deer on the way? Oh, dearie, dearie, dearie me. I will. I will. Ah, konnichiwa. Hunting again today? If you need any supplies, Kogok-san would be delighted to serve such a lithe customer in her store. <laughs> Her words, not mine. Did you know there used to be a bathhouse here? Sadly, the karakuri for heating the water stopped working. Now she has no customers and no one to care for her. Time brings us all to our knees in the end. Nothing lasts. One minute, you can be everything to everyone. The next... Nothing. Or 
first lesson. Empty. It's the fate of all things. Karakuri. Kemono. People. Sorry, I'm being melancholy. Don't let my mood spoil your day. Honestly, I don't care what he, what they're saying. I could just listen. <laughs> There's too many attractive characters in this game. We've got the shop owner that's hot. We've got them that's hot. Oh god, this what's this game doing to me? I don't know. Ah, the curse of all of them being attractive. I've I've forgotten where I um Where's the cash in? Is it That's where I was, wasn't it? The wall. Oh there we go. The sky. You said you were giving those spine glider materials to Suzuran sensei, didn't you? Yeah. She knows her stuff when it comes to kimono. I want to know more of their backstory. Like, who hurt you? <laughs> oh no! Can I go in the bathhouse with them, maybe? Here's the list. You've earned a reward for reaching five seals. Nice. Did they not Great. change? We both better get back. You want to know what's still to do? Hunter's mighty arm. Left. Activate your hunter's arm two times. What is the hunter's arm? Is that when you climb on them? I'm gonna accept it for now. Small kimono. Serial gathering. Twenty creatures. Um. Right, I'll do for now. Are we? Bye for now. You think Bikini DLC will come out? <laughs> Made a fine mess of that. I've developed a new piece of equipment. By studying your equipment, I've managed to develop some new weapons. I'm quite proud of them, actually. Give them a try. So Keeper says, yes, the hunter's arm is indeed extracting Karakuri thread from the glowy weak spots on the monsters. I've noticed a few different skill sets that activate from doing it. So I definitely need to do that. Um, I forget, did you say that you can climb on them at any point? Or does it have to be a specific time to do that? Let's have a look at the armor. Particular in mind? Oh, yo, this looks sick. Hang on, what's the skills? Lunar protection. Boost attack and defense during the night. Darkness! Poison recovery, provocation. Provocation increases the chances of being noticed and targeted by the kimono. Oh no, thank you. <laughs> we don't need that. Voice of recovery. Um, fusion art. Boosts the power of attacks based on fusion karakuri. Increases the chances of being noticed and targeted again. And God, this armor like draws the attention so much. I'm not sure I want it. <laughs> To be honest. Um, what would I lose by uh, having that instead? Health boost plus three. Oh. That gives me a bit of a boost anyway. Can I be of service in any stronger and sharper? Any time, though. That's I do you think you're going to do enough energy? damage to them before those spots are visible. Ah. Yeah, 
I still need the, the tail plum from that, so we'll grade that bow down that path, sadly. go down this way with this bow though if I wanted, but I'm not sure. Probably leave it for now until I get more materials, honestly. Ooh, I think that's about it. So my skills at the minute is health boost plus six, critical master, sidestepper, thread, file. Uh, why is that blacked out? Does blacked out mean not activated? Metalwork is so much fun. Is there a list of elements somewhere? Uh, I'm just gonna check now. I'm not sure, you know. So, I don't know what they actually mean, but obviously, uh, from left to right on the attribute effectiveness, I don't know whether the leaf is like nature and then we've got fire water and i think that next one is maybe wind i don't know what the last one is crystal i don't know <laughs> i'd have to look it up there'll probably be information already online on a wiki page or something can we just take a moment to appreciate the artwork though on these pages this is really really nice and it tells you what it's uh, physically effective again um or what's physically effective against it and its weak points front legs are strong on this one weak to fire weak to that's weak to fire as well actually king tusk is weak to fire too and the bird is uh weak to whatever that last one is i don't know what it is <laughs> Uh, King Tuss is like immune to water, so water does nothing. And then at the bottom we've got ailment effectiveness, so it looks like poison, burn, I don't know what that middle one is, and then it's like frost, and then I don't know what the last one is. So there's still a lot to learn on this game, it seems. You could use them as trading cards? Yeah, they are really really nice. They make me think, I know it's not watercolour, but for some reason it makes me think of watercolour paintings. You can need to change the, the alignment, what, to activate it in the middle of the screen? I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I think there's a lot to take in on this game quite early on, and uh, some criticisms that I have seen about this game so far are that it doesn't tell you everything. Um, I mean, not all games do, but like, there's a lot of things it doesn't tell you, and there's a quite like a high learning curve to implement everything in a fight, which I can already see that now because I think there's a lot of things that I'm maybe not grasping fully yet. By no means am I saying I'm having a bad time, so don't don't misunderstand me i'm having an excellent time on this game but i do feel like i'm missing a lot and i'm not understanding a lot <laughs> as of right now i think this creature is adorable this little uh rage tail pop it's so cute <laughs> right i'm not sure what i want to hunt next actually i need to 
Let's see if I can unlock anything here. Already waking this. What's this? A small puzzle box used for storing food. It can be opened only by the one who created it using this hunter's karakuri. Gauntlets as a key. It's a very useful addition on any uh, protracted hunt. What's this? Hunters of old would apparently accompany the local fishermen as they went out about their business. Placed by water, this bizarre karakori gets to work on its own accord catching fish. Oh, that's quite cool. Oh, the, the training thing as well. What's this one? Ride on the winds. The whirling sails lift everything on it high into the sky, carrying the hunter far and wide. Increases the durability of bulwarks. Yes. Extends the detection range of hunting towers. Yes, I may as well. Uh, slightly lengthens the invincibility period afforded by using a spring. Well, just did a few upgrades there. I feel like my arm is not too bad. I, I thought that bird would do more to me. If it if it like if it afflicted me with poison and hit me with its heavy move, maybe I would have been more in trouble. But as of right now, I think my arm is not doing too bad. Oh, there you are. I do need to work out what I'm yeah, going for next though. That affords you protection, can you? Oh, I don't like this. Um I might go for the helmet, maybe. I don't want the provocation skill. <laughs> I do not want it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Poison recovery, maybe. But I don't know. I, th I feel like my current armor isn't doing uh, too badly. I like the sidestepper skill. Extends the distance by which attacks are dodged. I think that's useful for me. Like a very distance almost. <laughs> oh, right. So Yukia says go to the forge and when changing human or kimono path, alignment. Um, some skills can only work if you're in that alignment. Ah, I get you now. I get you now. I see. So that's why I can't use that skill because I'm in the wrong alignment as of right now. That makes sense. See, that was something that never has been explained, I don't think. Or at least I don't remember it being explained. I could be wrong. Maybe I skipped through the text or something. Do we need that? I do need the tail for this, though, if I want to upgrade it. Do you need anything, Yuki, by the way? Or are you just happy to go hunt whatever? It's the tails I need, but I don't feel we're, we're getting them off. And the plum is uh, the tail on that monster. But I do need sap scourge horns and also uh, amber as well. If I want to upgrade this one. Maybe do a sap scourge then. <laughs> Metal. Keep out of curiosity what are the elemental resistances of the Just poison the bird armor. Need, you know. Can't afford to neglect the equipment that affords you protection, can you? Fire and whatever that swirly circle is, which I think is wind, but I don't know. <laughs> Makes sense, wind, it's a bird. I've, I've, that must be wind, right? It's a bird, you know. Two and two together and all that. What is the last one? 
It looks like crystal to me, that icon, personally. I think the first one is nature. It's like a leaf, so nature element. Then fire, then water, then wind. I just don't know what the last one is. It might be crystal, I don't know. Not sure. <laughs> I'm down to hunt anything. Okay. <laughs> Metal work is so much fun. So what is it I need again? It's the sap scourge. Can I be of service? Which is this one, isn't it? Time to hunt. Hold back to preparing. What's that mean? Oh, okay. We're, we're heading out. That's cool. I want to say the last one is earth and the first one is nature or plant. You're right, actually, it could be earth. There's also a possibility. It definitely, the icon definitely looks like a, a rock or crystal to me. Can I get closer? No. It's fine. Come in. I've just realised I haven't gone to get a drink. Oh well. <laughs> I guess I'm not going for a drink today. Is this testament to how much I'm enjoying this game? That I haven't done my uh, I go for a, a short break. tail nice one you leaving me some amber beautiful Oh, your thoughts are wild hearts? I'm liking it so far. I am liking it. It's a lot to absorb. A uh, very different way of uh, playing versus Monster Hunter. A lot of mechanics early on.
I wonder if I would have felt that way with Monster Hunter if, like, I started with World or Rise, though. Take a minute to appreciate that dodging skills. What the fuck? <laughs> now stay down. down here. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that aim. Like, I, I'm doing that aim wrong on that move. Definitely. hits on the tail. Ultra instincts. <laughs> I don't know how this is possible. Oh, oh, is this the rice skills carrying over chat? Is that what's happening? I feel like I've played like ass all day. And uh, yeah, those dodges though. Maybe I'm being a bit hard on myself today. Tail came off! Beautiful! Well, <laughs> I risked it for a biscuit and got crumbs, chat. It's fine. I tanked it. That was just a tickle, sir. Just a tickle. I just want to see. So when it does like a dodge thing, it throws you off. My opinion if you're doing damage to a monster and not caught in then you're doing well enough in the hunting game i just feel like it's not up to ggk bow standard 
That is what I feel. It's day two, though, is what I need to remind myself. I'll be having you. Thank you very much. Evie, hello. Welcome in. <laughs> Maybe it's the game and not GTK. <laughs> Become one of those streamers that blame the game all the time. Usually it's my tiredness, to be fair. Nice. Right, let's see what other maps I need. I need Sap Scourge Horn and Rage Tail Plum. Three of those. Hang on a second. Is the tail, is the tail actually, s yeah it is isn't it, yeah because that's, one is next to the rage tail plum so yeah it's separable, so I do need to get the tail. So yeah, uh, I was focusing more on the powerful shots on the tail and that definitely helped to get the tail off. Did you collect the broken tail? Yes I did, I did. I do need to forge this though, initially. I think it would be better for me to forge that. I'm not going to equip it as of right now. I can upgrade this though. Nice. Okay, so plum, rage tail plum and uh sap scourge horn basically so why don't we do a rage tail you down for that so time for right yeah time for right <laughs> time to hunt Try edge. Um, is this game everything you expected, or is it higher or lower than what you thought it would be? I think it's too soon to form proper opinions of it. Like, if I gave early first impressions, I think it plays very well. It runs nice. I I haven't personally experienced any major glitches or issues with the game, but I know others have, sadly. Um. I'm liking what I'm playing so far, but what I will say is I am feeling a bit overwhelmed, I guess. Where is it? We've got the bird, but... I don't see its icon on the map, actually. Is it down here? Has it disappeared? Has the one that we wanted to hunt disappeared? Looks like it, doesn't it, chat? Like, where's the... where's the monster gone? Triage, what weapons can you choose to use early or do you have to unlock them as you go? 
You need to start unlocking them as you go. You get the long sword initially. I'm not sure if it's called that. And then uh, I went for the bow straight away. And I also have the umbrella, but I wasn't that keen on it. I mean, there's that one there as well. Better late than never. Yep. I appreciate you though. Love, love, love. There is one in another area though. We could go there. But it's definitely not on this map. So I'm confused. But if we go over here, abandon. Should we abandon and start again and try this area instead? Yukia, because it says um, Kiba the Rage Tail is the only one of these things that seems to do this. Sometimes it's right there, but other times it's just somehow no there. It should be around. All right. So you've had this issue as well. It may be up in the far northwest. Like over here. I'm just wondering if we should abandon. Sure, whatever you want to do. Okay, right. Let's abandon and try. Time this to bit. <laughs> See if it appears. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching everybody though. I've really, really had a good time on this game so far. 37 likes on YouTube. Don't forget to hit the like button. I keep forgetting to pin a comment about likes on YouTube at the minute. <laughs> Oops. That sap scourge on there. This kimono. Right, I've just pinned it now. Because sap scourge was uh, pinned at first, so I've just changed it. It's a scourge. Uh, what's it called? Rage tail. There we go. I'm never going to remember these monsters' names, I don't think. King Tusk is like the easiest name to remember. But I, I'm already messing up the names of this this one. Ragetail and Sapscourge. I'm like... Rat Boy. I can remember Rat Boy. We're safe with Rat Boy. <laughs> well, hello, beautiful. need to kill this. I do need some scale from this. I remembered. <laughs> I need scale!
Oh wow, I am not getting used to that at all, that one. Broken? There's a big crack in it. That's what she said. <laughs> You're leaving? I saw the crack and I liked it. I saw the crack and I liked it. <laughs> there was a crack in the plum. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> feel sorry for anybody that's hearing these quotes from outside my room. <laughs> what will people think? <laughs> Alright, I just need to refresh the restream chat. the hole. else playing this game right now do you feel you've gotten used to the mechanics or do you feel like you're struggling with certain things let me know in the chat
I swam. Come in. Taking some time to get used to it, yeah. I feel that way too. Don't forget to gather. Can we gather from the actual severed bit? Yes. Nice. Oh, beautiful. This came on. I'm down if you wanna if you wanna hunt that one as well. Um it's you. Yuki is also saying I'm getting used to them as well. It's a lot it's a lot to implement really. Are we going for that one? Where are you on that? Oh you're going for the do you wanna go for the bird again? <laughs> do you? You're pointing that way. I'm not sure if you do. Which one would you like to go for? Yuki, I'll let you uh, pick the target. Whichever uh, to get the quest done. Alright, so there's a. I do need to hunt another sap scourge for this area in the top left, that's what it says, so. Let's do, do that, which is already marked anyway. Maybe get the tail off again. Sappy! Once I've upgraded this armor though, I reckon that probably could carry me for quite a bit. tanked it there. <laughs> I, well, I didn't tank it, I got double hit, but... That was a misjudgment, a major misjudgment. Fucking hell. 
That was nice. We got that off well quick. Well quick. That was fast. <laughs> Not even an issue now. Not even an issue. you went the faster way. Definitely need to set up some more. Helpful traversal items. I do need to break his horns actually, don't I, I think, if memory serves. There we go. <laughs> oh, I misjudged it. I thought it wouldn't hit me. Both of them off. Cool, they look off. Actually, they look like like withered trees. That's so cool. <laughs> nice. Maybe like I could build one here. Again, back to the area he was before, actually. Wrecked it, we did. We've broken everything now. Got me, chat. I am not delicious. Oh, nice. Come Yuki, I'm really enjoying the bow playstyle more than the other weapons so far. 
Uh, the fume beak, the raven was a fun fight to do. I just did that earlier. It did wreck me a bit though. I didn't faint, but... It did wreck me a bit. Let's see what I can upgrade of my armour. What bow is it that you're using, Yukio? What pap is that? Ordering a pizza, what are your go to toppings? Um, sweet corn, mushrooms, beef, chicken. I like a chicken tikka uh, pizza actually, but I do like beef and chicken together on a pizza too. I'm not like super into pizza, it's on occasion. I'll have it. I need another rage tail plum for the chest. Oh, you mean King Tusk Creeping Vine it's called? We can do a King Tusk if you want, I don't mind. Um, oh, sorry, no, I know, I know what you mean, the bow. You meant the bow you're using. I thought you meant you needed that material for a second. <laughs> Creeping vine. Hang on, which way does that go down? Let's have a look. Oh, this one. 72 raw, 16 of the nature element or whatever element it is. I can actually upgrade the bow I've got right now um, to this one, which gives me bare thread. Inhibits stamina loss when Karakuri thread has run out. Oh. No. <laughs> no, thank you. Although that is the way I'd have to go with it eventually. Let's go on this um, other bow a second. Do you feel that that's a bad skill to have? Probably. Triage, is it easier for me to chat on YouTube or here? I use Restream to look at both chats, but sometimes Restream breaks and I can't see Twitch chat, so overall it is better if you come to YouTube. See, I've not hunted these monsters yet, so I can't see what route that's going to go down eventually.
It's interesting. So you can take them down the different paths. The tree is kind of interesting because it branches off all different ways. So you can take it down a path and you, you're carrying the skills over as well. So I've got Savage, Final Blow. And uh, boost the chance of landing critical hits for a while while Hunter's arm is activated. See, I feel like climbing on the monsters for me as a bow user, once again, is kind of like one of the reasons I didn't like using Clutch Claw on World, because it disrupted my style of play. So I don't see myself really doing that as a bow user, personally. <laughs> I don't reckon it's going to be a thing I'm going to do. It's like, so basically the Clutch Claw, the only times I really used it on World was to weaken specific parts like on Alatreon or Fatalis. Other than that, I basically didn't use it at all. And I think the climbing mechanic on this game is, is maybe going to be the same for me. <laughs> Hello, Cheshire Cat, it's Triage. Hello, hello, hello. So, the bow I've got equipped is 61 raw, 0% um, crit, I think. But this is much stronger. So, I'm probably going to equip that one for now. It would go weaker. What happens if you enhance it? Oh, right, okay, so the attack would go weaker, but you could carry... Could you move both the skills over? Let's just see. There are no free slots. Right, so you can basically make your own weapon with the skills then, by jumping around on the tree. That's a really interesting mechanic. Some plotting out, perhaps, is going to be required for some of this. So I need another plum from Rage Tail, basically. And then I've upgraded uh, most of this armour. I can go for this uh, waist, though, and then, then I'd need King Tusk stuff. So, to upgrade. So yeah, I need a plum. That's what she said. <laughs> Rage tail plum is what I need. Right, we were successful last time in this area, so we'll go this area again. I trust it. This came along. I reckon we can kill it before the end. The streamers flew by! Oh my god, that's testament to how much I'm enjoying this game. This bow looks sick.
shit. Oh, God! <laughs> I'm getting my shit fucked up here. Plum's coming off, sir. It's coming off. Don't you worry. You're leaving? And I thought the bows on Monster Hunter were huge. They're like, almost double the size of the Hunter, actually. Think of the strength it would require to actually uh, use this bow in real life. Pull back the string. Oh, there goes the tail. Easy. God, this bow is just OP. I see what my brother said about it. Can you just tell me how OP this weapon is? It really is. Indeed. What do you think, chat? Is the bow looking more and more interesting to you now?
you double press the triangle, that move you do is just insane. Tomorrow I'll definitely be able to focus on hunting some new monsters. This I'll probably want to hunt that bird again, I reckon. Right, uh, let me return now. So that's done. I'm tempted to try it out. It just feels uber powerful, to be honest. It's interesting because like everything I saw of it, like if you recall when people were asking if I was going to go bow before I got the game, um, I was saying that I'm not sure because it looks more stationary, I don't know, etc, etc. But yeah, it's different. It's different from Rise, but I like it. Do you have something particular in mind? Nice. So you can't actually upgrade the arms of that, apparently. It would be in the human path still, though. I went for the arms of that, but that's... I don't think I need to. <laughs> Let's just have a look a second. So all my skills at the minute... I'm weak to fire and weak to whatever that other, you know, ailment is or whatever. <laughs> Element. <laughs> plus one savage, health boost, plus six, sidestep of plus uh, 6%, 13%, final blow, strong arm, 4%, um, red file, plus two. 106 HP, 77 attack. Sweet. Sorry I'm late, internet problems. Don't need to apologize for being late. I just appreciate you coming you along. You were giving those spine glasses. You want to know what's still to do? Here's the list. Alright then. Bye for now. Alright, definitely made good progress today, I think. So head to Spirit Isle is the next thing to do, basically. Which I can uh, do tomorrow, so it's gonna be a new area. I still feel like I've not really explored this area though. Like there's there's loads I've not really looked around to be honest. I need to do that tomorrow as well, find the missing hunter.
don't forget to like on YouTube if you haven't done so. It really, really helps me out big time and I do really, really appreciate it. Um, I've had an amazing time today, so thank you all for lurking and hanging out on Twitch or if you lurked and hung out on YouTube, thank you for chatting with me and spending time with me today. It's been amazing. Look how absorbed I was in today's stream. I didn't even go for my drink break at all. There's nothing left. Listen. Well, there's a tiny bit left, but it won't suck through the straw. <laughs> I'm definitely thirsty now, but I got so absorbed today in the stream and I've had an amazing time. So thank you all so, so much for being awesome. Uh, if you like what you saw, don't forget about my fan house for Daily Life and Spice. 10% off for of three months in one go sub. Behind the scenes, food, fitness, sports, reactions, cosplays, all sorts of things available. We also have Patreon for Discord access on $5 a month. All the VIP tiers for multiplayer on regular streams like this one, like Yukia did today, played with me for the majority of the stream. Um, I only play with VIPs on multiplayer games on stream unless we hit the unlock goals information on the unlocks in the Twitch panels and in the stream uh, description if you're watching this live on YouTube. But it's per 250 basically on tips for open multiplayer but I've had an amazing time today. So thank you all so, so much. Love, love, love to everybody. And I will see you tomorrow. We'll probably um, start off solo play. Um, as I said, I'll move to that new area and see what's up. And then I'll open multiplayer. Because I enjoy playing these games on multiplayer. So from now on, multiplayer will just be open and we'll just progress together. And I definitely plan on getting invested in this game and taking my time and exploring and stuff. So you all know me. I like to farm armors and get loads of weapons and things like that and play around so uh, i'm definitely not going to be rushing through this one we're going to be having a good time together playing together and experiencing it together so love 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 everybody thank you so much have a good rest of your day take it easy and i will see you tomorrow Bye bye